I'd like to give you a glimpse into our lives with a medically fragile child. We have private insurance and my husband has a great job, but despite that, our insurance doesn't cover many of the costs. Medicaid's home and community-based services is extremely important because it waives the parent's income and accepts the child into the program based on their disabilities. Sophia receives her nutrition through a feeding tube. Sophia has to receive her medication 20 times a day. Sophia experiences many breathing issues, so we have an oxygen machine and a full socks. This is only a portion of the equipment that Sophia uses in her daily life. Medicaid also allows us to have nurses to help care for Sophia. And without help to care for Sophia, we wouldn't be able to do typical things like play with our kids outside because she has sensitivity to light. There are many things that you have to take into consideration when you have a medically fragile child, like the cost of eventually buying a home where Sophia has a downstairs suite. Another unexpected cost is a wheelchair accessible minivan. Many families like mine would be financially devastated if we didn't have Medicaid's home and community-based services as a secondary insurance for our child. I know that mommy loves you so much. You're the strongest girl in the world. This is only a tiny glimpse into our daily life. Parents of medically fragile children face unimaginable challenges every single day. Please support me in my fight to protect the most vulnerable citizens of the United States. I am asking everyone to contact their United States Senators. Please ask them to oppose the AHCA and Medicaid cuts because people's lives depend on it.